Good morning, students. After completing the first derivative and second derivative, now today we have to start a new chapter, chapter number six, application of derivatives. And in the chapter, before we start the application of derivatives, already we know how to find out the derivative of composite function, isn't it? Uh, the inverse trigonometry function, the implicit function, exponential function and logarithmic functions all these things are already we discussed now in this chapter mainly we have to discuss how to apply the these derivatives in our various disciplines so mainly here we have to start here from rate measure the first topic is rate measure and then we use these derivatives in tangent normal then the approximation then maximum minimum and then increasing decreasing mainly we have to discuss these things here so here already written if you see uh, how the derivative can be used so here the first point is given determine the rate of change of quantities as not it to find the equation of tangent and normal and many more very interesting topic this one is application of derivatives so in our day-to-day -day life how can we use this derivatives we have to discuss here so first topic is here now come the rate of change of quantities so this topic already you all of we know because in physics already we know the distance the velocity acceleration mainly this one so here already written recall that by the derivative ds by dt that means all of you know the meaning is what we mean the rate of change of distance as with respect to time is not it which one is we write uh, ds dt so in similar fashion if we write dy dx and the meaning is what one quantity y varies with another quantity x and which one we write y dy dx or f dash of x already we know this one so these things are we have to discuss here and velocity all of you know dv by dt and many more and also we know the chain rule chain rule to uh, find out the differentiation derivative we use this chain rule that's not it so the first topic is here rate of change of quantities now here the first one if you see one example here and the first example is here given you see find the rate of change of the area of a circle per second with respect to its radius r when r equal to 5 cm. So now here we have to find out the rate of change of the area of a circle. That means all of you know the area of a circle formula is what? Pi r square. If you define the area by a and if the radius is we denote by r then a equal to pi r square. This one is the area of a circle formula therefore now here we have to find out the rate of change with respect to what with respect to r because radius r mentioned here so that's why the formula whatever we get the function a equal to pi r square we have to define so this one with respect to r so that's why here we write da by dr if we define so this one da by dr so you see here ddr into pi r square here we write where pi is a constant term so this pi comes out and then ddr of r square is here so ultimately if we define this r square all of you know we get twice r so that's why ultimately twice pi r and here the condition is given here when r equal to 5 centimeter that means in place of r we have to put 5 and finally the rate of change of the area da by dr equal to what we get 10 pi which one is our required answer is it clear so very simple question in this way we have to find out the rate of change of the area now if we see another question here example number two the question is here given the volume of a cube so now directly mention here cube so all of you know the formula of a cube if we consider the side is x then obviously it we have to write here x cube volume of a cube all of you know is increasing at a rate of 9 cubic centimeter per second and how fast is the surface area increasing when the length of edge is 10 centimeters so that means here surface area also mentioned here and volume so volume formula all of you know uh, if you define volume by v then it is x cube and if we write surface area then the formula is 6x square where x is the function of time here if we represent x is the side now here we have to define this one 
cubic centimeter because here it is already mentioned rate here so that's why we have to define set the volume with respect to time t so if you define set here now you see if you define set then we get dv by dt and now dv by dt here rate is already mentioned if you see the question 9 cubic centimeters so that's why here dv by dt value is given 9 centimeter cube per second already given so now here what you have to do whatever the volume v equal to x cube we get we have to define set this one with respect to x if you define uh, sorry with respect to t so if you define set this one then the left hand side we have to write dv by dt and the right hand side we have to write ddt of x cube if you define set this one so x cube then we get 3x square but it is not t so that's why we have to define set this one again so that's why here we write here uh, d uh, 3x square into dx dt actually here chain rule applying we can directly write this result also so if you define set v equal to x cube with respect to time then we get dv by dt equals to 3x square into dx dt now in place of dv dt we put 9 and from there we get easily we can find out the dx dt so dx dt equal to how much we get here 3 by x square you see here is it clear after that the surface area is also mentioned surface area is mentioned as equal to 6x square already we write if you differentiate this one again with respect to time then here we write ds by dt ds by dt equal to 6 constant term and ddt of x square and if you differentiate this one obviously we get here 6 into uh, twice x dx dt isn't it and now here already we know the dx dt value is what 3 by x square and after uh, putting this value here if we calculate then ds dt equal to finally we get uh, 36 by x and already in the question the mention the age is how much 10 centimeter so that means age means the side here so x equal to when we put 10 centimeter then finally we get the answer is here ds by dt equal to 3.6 centimeter square per second is it clear okay after completing the example number two now if you see the example number three this example is very interesting here a stone is dropped into a quiet lake and waves move in a circles at a speed of 4 cm per second. At the instant when the radius of circular wave is 10 cm, how fast is the enclosed area increasing? So that means when we throw or when we drop a stone in a quiet lake, that means obviously it forms a circle and the waves moves at the speed of here given 4 cm per second that means the radius increases at a rate that means here given the drdt drdt equal to 4 cm per second mentioned here and the question is given here at the instant when the radius of circular wave is 10 cm that means radius when the radius is 10 then how fast is the enclosed area increasing enclosed area we have to find out here so that means when we drop a stone in a quiet lake that means obviously it forms a circle and that's why we need here the formula of area of a circle so that's why all of you know the area of a circle is pi r square and here when we have to define it this one so obviously we have to define it with respect to time so da by dt equal to already we have done this type of question pi is constant term r square if you define it then dr dt we get twice pi dr dt and now here already given dr dt equal to 4 centimeter per second already i mentioned so that's why here da by dt equal to twice pi in place of dr dt if we put here 4 and the already radius is mentioned 10 centimeter and if we put these values then the final answer is here 80 pi that means the enclosed area is increasing at the rate of 80 pi centimeter square per second when the radius is 10 centimeter is it clear this one is another very interesting question here now after that one note is given find the rate of change of the first one is perimeter and the area of rectangle so all of you know the rectangle length and breadth isn't it so now here first one is mentioned here perimeter so that means already here mentioned if y increases x in as x increases then dy dx is positive and if y decreases x increases then it is negative 
so according to our question if you see the length of x rectangle is decreasing at the rate of 3 cm per minute and the white y is increasing at the rate of 2 cm per minute so that means here x is decreasing so that's why dx dt equal to minus 3 cm per minute and at the same time y is increasing so increasing so that's why here uh, what dy dt is positive which one is 2 cm per minute that's not it so these two first of all we write and after that if you see here now the perimeter the perimeter formula all of you know perimeter equal to 2 times of length plus breadth so that's why 2 times of x plus y and now here we have to find out the rate of change so that's why this perimeter we have to define set with respect to time so dp by dt equal to 2 times of dx by dt plus dy dt so dx dt and dy dt value already we write so these two value if you put and then finally we get the answer is minus 2 centimeter per minute as well as the second one is the area of rectangle the area of rectangle is length into breadth so that's why here we write area equal to length into breadth means x into y so when we have to define set this one so here multiplication formula we need so that's why dx by dt defines it with respect to sine so that's why dx dt and then we keep y and second time plus x then we write dy dt we have to define set and dx dt and dy dt value if we put and then we get the answer is 2 cm square per minute so in this question mainly we have to know which one is increase and which one is decrease so if i repeat this one the length of x of a rectangle is decreasing so that's why dx dt equal to minus 3 cm per minute and the y it is increasing so that's why it is positive is it clear okay after completing the question number four if you see the next example number five the total cost which one is represented by here cx and rupees associated with the production of x units of an item is given so here cx equal to one polynomial is given here and now what we have to do we have to find out the marginal cost when three units are produced where by marginal cost we have to mean the instantaneous rate of change of total case cost at any level of output that means very simple question this one if the total cost is given so from there easily we can find out the marginal cost and to find out the marginal cost what you have to do we have to define it with this one with respect to the units and the units is here mentioned as an x so that means whatever the marginal cost mentioned here we have to define it this one with respect to x so that's why if the cost is represented by c so c equal to the polynomial whatever given if you define it this one with respect to x then the polynomial we get this one and now here the units is already mentioned the units is how much three units so that means x equal to three we given so that means after define setting with respect to x if we put the value of x equal to 3 and then whatever the amount we get which one is our marginal cost and the marginal cost after putting the value if we calculate and the marginal cost is here rupees 30.02 is it clear so this one is the question here if total cost given so the marginal cost after define setting easily we can find out is it clear okay okay now after that the next question is here given question number six the total revenue in rupees received from a sale of x units of a product is given by rx the total revenue is mentioned as rx equal to 3x square plus 36x plus 5 and here we have to find out the marginal revenue when x equal to 5 where marginal revenue we mean that the rate of change of total revenue so total revenue is given 3x square plus 6x plus 5 with x units so that means here also we have to define this one with respect to x to find out the marginal revenue because here in this question already mentioned mean and the rate of change of the total revenue so that's why the marginal re total revenue if you define it with respect to x then the answer we get here dr by dx equal to 6x plus 36 and here the cost is already mentioned to find out the marginal revenue when x equal to 5 so that's why when we put x equal to 5 the marginal revenue ultimately we get here 66 so that means the marginal revenue is rupees 66 so in this way the rate of change questions are easily we can solve so in our next class we have to start our exercise 6.1
i think all of you understood these six examples so if you understood then you can uh, proceed the example also the question number one two three these questions are very simple question if you feel comfortable then you can try these three is it clear okay thank you